Let's talk about one of my most favorite plugins for DaVinci Resolve going into 2022. Motion VFX and guys just for full disclosure Motion VFX is not sponsoring today's video but they were kind enough to send me two packs for free for you guys to review. So everything I'm about to say is my honest opinion and I'm not being paid to say that. So let's find out where do we get those plugins, what do they cost, how do we install them and are they any good. So, where do we get those plugins? Go to motionvfx.com, click on DaVinci Resolve, and you will get their full catalog of DaVinci Resolve assets and plugins. And during this video, I will use multiple different text animations, backgrounds, and overlays so you can get an idea of what those templates will look like in your videos. So, what's cool about Motion VFX website is if you select a plugin, you can scroll all the way down to see exactly what's included in this plugin. For example, in this MTuber 2 package, we get 60 different elements, we get different subscribe animations, we get different social media animations, we get end screens for your YouTube videos, we get titles, we got logo animations, which could basically act as an intro, and we get pointers, icons, and different animated backgrounds. And the really cool thing is, you can actually hover over them with your mouse to see what they will look like in your editing software. So you really get an idea of what the pack looks like and if it's worth your money or not. So then when you wanna decide to buy one, first of all, I highly recommend downloading mHelloDV and mMatrix because those are two free plugins that you can download. And in order to do that, just click on the one that you wanna download and then get it free as it says on this mHelloDV then just select get it free. This will add it to your card and then you wanna go to your card. First of all, it will ask you to create an account and you have to in order to download from their website. But once you've signed in into your account, you can download as many assets as you want. Now, after you created your account and you select checkout, it will ask you to download M Installer. So once you've downloaded it, it will load up in the M Installer. And this is basically just a software that stores all your plugins from Motion VFX. And the great news is you can see what plugins that you already downloaded. For me, I got M Hello DV, M Matrix, M Title Cinematic, and M Tuber 2. And all you gotta do is click on the install button that is right there. For me, it already says installed because I already installed them. And it says one of two licenses used, so I only use them on my Mac. You got a Windows PC and if you've got two PCs as well, you can use them on both PCs without having to buy them multiple times. And now you see that I got an update for MTuber 2. So I click on install update. The good thing about this is it will automatically install everything in the right folder. So you don't have to mess around with the folder structure from DaVinci Resolve. So let's talk about the price. Motion VFX plugins are high quality and very user friendly and high customizable but they also come in at a hefty price tag of usually around 89 to 99 US dollars. But let's just take a look in DaVinci Resolve to see the full potential of those plugins. All right, so when we open up DaVinci Resolve, go to your effects library and go down to where it says titles, open the drop-down menu and you will see the motion VFX and I get a drop down there because I got the M Hello TV, M Matrix, M Title Cinematic and M Tuber 2 pack. So not only are the plugins great, but the organization of how those are stored is great as well. So let's just select the M title cinematic and those are all the titles that we're gonna get with those plugins. So these are basically film titles that make your cinematic videos even more cinematic and great. Let's just drag this onto our timeline and we can see that it is a title. Let's open up the inspector and there we see a control panel with the in and out animation and the animation through. Then of course we have our title, the title settings from the title font to the color, size, tracking, whatever. You can imagine when you think about text, then we got a subtitle settings, which basically is the upper part of the title and the subtitle settings, of course, they are very customizable. Let's just drag in this one. And of course we got our text. We got the animations for in, out and through. We got the title settings like the text font, the text color, size, 
and the background settings of course. But let's now talk about the MTuber 2, which basically is the go-to YouTuber plugin. So in the MTuber 2, you get a bunch of backgrounds. Let's just close our media pool. We get a bunch of backgrounds. We get a bunch of YouTube end screens. We get a bunch of YouTube icons, ball icons, arrow icons, cursor icons. We get a bunch of logo intros. And then of course we get pointers. We get social media lower thirds. We get subscribe animation, different ones. We get title animations and that all combined into one package. And if you have seen some of my previous videos, I actually used some of them. I used this background a lot, which is basically just a plain white background um, with another background in the middle. And the cool thing about this one is I can actually control the gradient type and the lines angle. Because if you zoom in there, there are lines that are just um, going from top to bottom. But if we zoom out, we can change the angle, make them diagonal, increase the width, and decrease the sharpness just a little bit. The frequency, we can make them less frequent and get the bigger ones. And now let's change this from like white to a little more gray, something like this. Now what we have to do is just add some text on top of it, like this one. And you can also increase them in length without cutting anything off of the animation. Right, that's the great feature. The position, and we want this to be a little more on the right side. Right there. Now let's go to line controls and I want this line to be black. Of course, increase the line size to fit the text nice and clean and let's make this one some dark gray and now we have a proper animation in just a few seconds this is just crazy if I were to design something like this for myself this would have taken me way more time this would have taken me probably to design multiple of them a few hours you've got to determine what's your time worth Getting a lifetime access for $99, which will save you so much time down the road, is just crazy. Let's just take this end screen right there. All you gotta do is browse, open up a thumbnail from your recent videos, go to drop sound two, do the same thing, three and four and do the same thing. Now go to text one controls, more vids, it's fine. Text two, view the latest clips, fine as well. I mean, background controls, we can make the background transparent. We can just drag and drop this over our footage and act as a proper YouTube end screen, which is absolutely amazing. So let's summarize this up. The quality that you're gonna get from Motion VFX is pretty much outstanding. Not only the storage, but also the AM installer and the customization is very user-friendly and just incredible. And I haven't come across any other plugin that delivers such a high quality for DaVinci Resolve. So of course, they are a little bit more on the pricey side, but in my opinion, that's well worth the money because it saves me so much time when I'm editing my YouTube videos because I just drag and drop the animations, drag and drop the backgrounds and without having to recreate them ever again. But of course, you have to decide this for your own if it's worth your money or not. So yeah, that's just my two cents. All right, guys, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this little review. Please let me know in the comments down below what you think about those plugins and you might as well get yourself a nice Christmas gift. If so, please consider using my affiliate link. It can be found in the description down below to no extra cost for you. Now with that being said, guys, wish you all Merry Christmas. See you next week. Bye.